Hi and a warm welcome to everyone. I am Dr. Suraj Narasimhan, International Cardiologist and Structural International Specialist working in Sarjapur Manipal Hospital. There is always a myth regarding what is angiogram and angioplasty. In the video, I will be explaining regarding what exactly is an angiogram and how is it different from an angioplasty. Angiogram is a diagnostic test which we do to find out if there are any blockages in the blood vessels. Angiogram is a procedure which is done under local anesthesia which hardly takes around 5 minutes of time and it is done in a special place called the cath lab. In that the patient goes inside and then probably through a radial artery or the femoral artery which is the artery through the leg or through the hand we will be inserting some diagnostic catheters to the heart and then we inject a special dye from which we can find out if there are actually blockages in the heart. So basically the angiogram gives us few important informations. First one is whether there are any blocks inside the blood vessels or not. And if there are blocks, what is the number of blocks, whether it is a single vessel disease or it is a double vessel disease or a triple vessel disease. And if, there, if at all, if there are blocks, what is the percentage of the block, whether it is less than 50 percentage, more than 50 percentage or more than 90 percentage. So these are the informations which we get. And also, what is the location of the block, whether the block is located in the starting of the artery or in the distal portion of the artery. Basically from angiogram, we can find out what is the exact treatment which is required for treating those blocks. Three basic treatments are there for these coronary arteries. One is a medical management wherein which we give drugs and then see whether the blocks disappears. The second option is to go for an angioplasty wherein we, uh, we open these blocks by using a balloon and then we put a metal stent from preventing it from recoiling again. The third option is to go for a open heart surgery or the bypass surgery. So basically angiogram is just a diagnostic tool from which we find out how many blockages are there and what is the percentage of blocks, what is the location of the blocks and what kind of treatment is required for these blocks. And what about angioplasty? How is it different from angiogram? So angioplasty is actually different from that of the angiogram. As I have told you, angiogram is just a diagnostic tool and angioplasty is the treatment which we are going to give for the patient. So in angioplasty, what we do is through the radial artery or through the femoral artery, we just put a tube into the heart. Through the tube, we just pass a small wire across the block which have been diagnosed in the diagnostic angiogram and after that we put a balloon to open up these blocks. And once these blocks are opened up, we put a stent to prevent it from recoiling again. And the stents which we are using right now are called as drug loading stents. These are metal stents which, which has been incorporated with the drug inside which prevents restenosis in future. And there has also been many advancement in angioplasty technique like intracoronary imaging wherein we use this intravascular ultrasound and OCTs to see exactly where the block is, what kind of block it is, whether it is a calcified block or whether it is a lipid rich block or it is a fibrotic block. And we can also find out from these imaging modalities what is the length of the block and what is the percentage of the block and what stents we have to put exactly. And this imaging can also help after doing a stent, whether the stent has been fully expanded or it should be expanded further. So these are the latest technologies which are available, which helps in implanting a proper stent in an appropriate patient with an appropriate length and then to get a good result. So doing this angiogram and angioplasty is essential for anyone who has been diagnosed with a heart disease, especially patients who are, serve, who are having symptoms like chest pain while exerting and uh, this can be helpful in the sense it can be life-saving for most of the patients. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.